taking the tiki things but it's okay uh what i'm doing right now is this is my first drive in ireland now i drove this in germany a while ago and i was very impressed by its grown up nature it's grown up a bit you know um, and i'm very impressed by that i like when things grow up instead of getting more childish because i thought the old take one was good but a little bit it didn't quite know what it was now it's a beefy thing you know now it's much more towards Touareg mini size and I quite like that today I'm in Tullamore uh, where I work every day so I thought I'd come out and I'd make a film about this car around the Tullamore area actually around Axis Business Park where I actually do work uh, zooming up the outside lane here to able to turn right like you know in the awful sense of the word um, now Tiguan, this one that I'm sitting here has the electronic dashboard and it's all electronic as well there are some lights on the top which are mechanical but the rest of the dashboard is actually electronic that's a bit of a step up it's good because you know there was a time where I would have been a little bit fearful of a all electronic dashboard because what happens when it goes wrong uh, and don't tell me for one second that things don't go wrong electronically my god half the internet crashes on a regular occasion okay so uh, but we have to have a position whereby the electronic dashboard gives me the readouts i need to be able to see at all times so speedo is there the big screen in the center for the radio is top notch i've had no trouble with it at all it's really nice really slidey sort of ipad feel to the whole thing really good it is a very familiar layout and here of course if you've ever driven a volkswagen in the past three four years you will be very familiar with this layout in all its sense this one has active cruise control this one also has active parking i don't know what they really call that but i call it active parking uh, which means that the car will actually reverse itself into space and stuff still a bit clunky still a bit slow and unsure of itself and that's okay because I'm pretty unsure of it as well and generally speaking I'll probably get into a space a little bit quicker than the computer will do it there's a bit of faffing around as it decides whether you're reversing or not and a little bit of unsurety as the car you know gives you no information for a minute about going back should I go back fast or slow or you know anyway I still like it it's a lovely thing it'll be course become standard in the very near future you know it's not going away anytime soon soon enough if you were to believe volvo and all those other kind of car brands but particularly volvo basically volvo don't want you to drive a car anymore your hands on the steering wheel your feet on the pedals are just no it ain't happening if you want to live and survive in a car and actually arrive alive we need to let the computers do their job volkswagen still well on the way but still have a more of a driver's feel about them they still feel like yeah you know what it's okay to drive you're grand drive on pal and it's quite busy around Tullamore it's got a main street right through the center of it which is usually the busiest street in the whole of the land which is why the road now or the traffic is stretching right back over that little humpback bridge there but we will endeavor no doubt to try and get around it. I'll get over this bridge on a second Maybe we won't. Thought that was going to end in tragedy there. Mm -hmm. See, this is where you spend most of your day, in fairness. I don't, because I don't really come down to town that often, but uh, this, this sitting in the car, waiting for traffic to move, and that's where, like, radio comes in handy. This is where bluetooth and, and all that sort of stuff comes in handy uh you know so you can play your tracks and music but then 
it's down to the comfort of the vehicle as well so I'm going to knock it out of gear down make it go stop start it's all gone very quiet and so I've changed my mind I'm going to go this way I don't know what exactly is happening over there but I, I don't really have to go down there at this moment so I'm not going to bother Run. Last of the summer for those young folk over there. I'm driving down by the by the canal here, which is a beautiful, beautiful place along this area. I'd love, I'd love an apartment there or something. Just saying, like, I have a house in Port Leach, but I quite like to look at that place down there. I can drive down there. No, let me drive down here. Show you a bit more of the place. I don't know what's down here, but we're going to drive down here anyway. But you see, this is kind of what. Tiguan as far as sort of exploration you can have this in a 4x4 you can have this in more of an off-roady feel and if you watch the other video which should be going bloop across the top of the screen up there you'll see me actually drive it off-road in Germany and it's the same car exactly the same thing I'm sitting on the other side of the car but it's the same thing I quite like Tiguan not because it's brilliant or because it's fabulous just because it's an honest car it's got a big back seat it's got a big boot it's got plenty of little storage holes and cubby holes i like volkswagen's nature to put carpet on the inside of the storage bins here on both sides and in the back doors it may seem like a very small thing but when you put something like for instance a phone into the storage bin it doesn't rattle about. I don't hear it scraping on the plastic. It's just sitting there. Perfect. Well done, Volkswagen. Getting rough here. Just stones now. There's a bridge ahead. And I don't even know if this road runs out. I presume it does eventually here. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes on a bit of Dublin. This is the canal that's wrong. I've never been down here before, so I don't even know where this goes. Cool story, bro. That's a bridge. <laughs> See, I'm not off road, but the road is a little bit rough. Now, a car could deal with this quick enough, but well, that's quite cool. Oh, I've come to the end of the road. Kind of. Lock number 26 is where I am. So I'm going to park up here now. If you like this review of the Volkswagen Tiguan down at a canal, in a little part of Tullamore. Please give it a little thumbs up, a share and a like. And until the next time, I will see you on the far side.